Hello YouTube, I'm Robert Foley, and this is my video on why I switched back to iOS, and that really starts with my experience with my Note 5, so let me just quickly go over it real quick. So, the first few days that I had it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best phone that I've ever had and I will ever have, and that quickly changed within about a week and a half or so. Um, for the first week or so, and I don't know how long it was exactly, but... The battery life was great. I mean, I, the fingerprint sensor was accurate. It was quick. Um, quicker than my iPhone 6 Plus, which it was. Um, which, I mean, if you get it right on it, it is. But, like, if you pick it up, like, it just takes, like, two or three times to get it in. Um, so, that quickly went. Um, like I said in my unboxing of my 6S Plus, um, uh, battery life is really bad, like horrible, absolutely terrible. Um, I plugged this in this morning. It's 525 and it's at 33 percent. I did not use it at all. I picked it up about 10 minutes ago and I cleared my notifications. So if it drains 70 percent in one day, how is that acceptable? How do why why do people buy this? I mean. It's not just my phone. The S6 and the S6 Edge have this issue, too. And this is a bigger battery than the S6 and S6 Edge. So, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. Maybe it's because it's trying to search too hard for signal. My iPhone has not... I mean, I unplugged this at 6.30 this morning. It's at 56%, and I've been using it, like, constantly since I got home at 11.45. So, this is completely and totally unacceptable. I mean, this phone is thicker. It's shorter, and it's not as wide um, as the iPhone 6S Plus. But, I mean, yeah, I can fit in this on in, in the screen of this case, uh, the entire phone. But, that's just completely unacceptable. The battery life is that terrible. Um, um, S Pen. Never used it because I lost it. Um, about two weeks with having the phone. I uh, went to a uh, Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. Um, thing. And I don't know if it just fell out and then it fell out of my pocket and left, and I left it in the theater. I don't know, but I haven't had one for a long time now. Um, so, impressions of the S Pen, it was okay. I didn't use it too much. Um, it was kind of cool writing occasional notes, just taking it out of my pocket, you know, writing a quick thing down, converting it into a number or something later. I did that once or twice, um, with phone numbers from school. Um, but other than that, all the like gimmicky features of the Galaxy line, um, I try to avoid. So, I'm using the stock Samsung Launcher, although um, it's not great. But I only use it because um, this widget, and honestly, that's the only reason I used it. Um, the other issue that I found with this phone is that, yes, these bezels are impossibly small, but if you're not wearing a case with your phone, if you just like rest your finger on the screen, it does that. Um, in this phone, it doesn't, because, I mean, even without a case, if I take the case off, if you, like, hold it, and you, like, touch over there, it's not going to, like, touch the screen. The bezels are thick enough that that doesn't happen. Um, now, design. I like, I, to be honest with you, I like the design of the iPhone better. I like the glass on the Note 5, but fingerprints, like, and I don't have particularly oily skin. Um, but, like, just doing this, it's leaving a ton of fingerprints. And it doesn't, it just doesn't happen with this because it's aluminum. So, um, so weight, that wasn't really a concern for me, but this one is heavier. I know that it is, but they feel the same to me. Um, it's a very slight difference between the weight of the two. So, um, what else made me switch? The camera I am going to miss, although not too much, because in order to get a decent shot, it has to be, like, perfect lighting. Otherwise, I mean, it's just, it looks kind of grainy and stuff. Um, the iPhone camera is better in that regard. It works really well in low light. It doesn't seem as grainy. Um, another thing that's really cool, and this isn't a reason I switched, but look at my wallpaper here. If I push harder and it starts to move, let go, push. It's cool. I like 3D Touch a lot. I actually used it quite a bit for, like, Snapchat. I added somebody in school today, so I just clicked Add Friends. 
and it brought me right there. Really super easy. Um, and honestly, it comes down to that sometimes, ease of use. And I'm not trying to say that I want a simpler experience with any technology because most of the time, if not all the time, I can figure something out if I try hard enough, um, especially with like a phone or something. Um, most of the time, if I can't figure it out by myself, by my simple intuition of looking where I think it would be, I look it up. Um, see, I don't like screwing around with too many settings on my phone. What I like to have when I change my ringtone, my notification sound, my wallpaper, and that's pretty much it. I mean, honestly, I like having all of my apps laid out like this. I don't mind it at all. And some people say that it's just um, a horrible experience, but in my testing, it really isn't that bad. And I honestly prefer it to having to, because you're forced to have everything here, which helps because then you don't have to say, oh, where am I going to put this stuff? Stick everything in a folder, stick everything that you don't want in a folder, which some say, oh, it should take in more space, but then if you need it, you don't have to go searching through everything, you need, you know exactly where it is, it's in that folder, and I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but it makes sense to me in my head, and that's my logic with that. Um, really, I mean, I like the experience of the iPhone a lot better, it works works better for a lot of things. It's a lot less laggy than this. Um, this, I mean, if I send like five video Snapchats with like a filter applied in a row, I have to quit Snapchat or else it'll, it'll crash. Um, this just keeps on going. I don't, I don't know. It just keeps on going and it works beautifully. Um, another feature that I really like, which this one, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Doesn't work when it's turned off. Um, sometimes it works when it's open. Okay, Google. It works then. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, but this is really hit. Hey, Siri. What's 5 times 5? Five? 5 times 5 is 25. So, as you can see, it works pretty well. Um, not too shabby. So, any more questions that you have on why I switched? I know a lot of people from my school are going to be saying, you said that you hated the iPhone. And I, I did. I did not like my 6 Plus because the experience wasn't good enough. But now that I have the latest Apple device, it's amazing. Look at how fast the Touch ID is. So I just have to like push it and it's open. Even with my other finger too. It just works. Um, this, like I said, if I try and use this, of course it works. But like if you're slightly off, still works. Of course, when I try and demonstrate something not working, and Kyle and Ross can attest to this. The fingerprint sensor isn't that great on this. Um, it's a lot better than the 6 Plus was because that was having a lot of issues. Like, I would press it, it wouldn't work. So, um, But otherwise, yeah, if you have any more questions on why I switched, feel free to leave them down below in the comments, and I will get around to answering them in the next video or just by typing them out, um, whatever I feel like doing at this certain point. So, anyway... Check out my social links in the description down below, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.